Shalom, Akiam, Shalom, Kahlal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Makai, Kadash, and we send double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutation. See, I came out there pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. This is Brother Aliala. On this lesson, I want to talk about um, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. You know, a brother had sent a, uh, a TikTok from this uh, one chick who was complaining about inflation rates, and I'll play a clip of it here in a second. But it definitely made me, um, my mind uh, just kind of be like, yeah, we're coming into those times of increased uh, food prices, increased, uh, increased energy prices. Um, you know, people are not wanting to take any of these jobs, or you can't even get some of these jobs unless you compromise yourself and take the jab. So it's getting harder and harder and harder. Uh, for especially women, you know, who 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 have moved down this route of so-called independence and now are kind of left stranded out here uh, as gas and food prices increase and they're not making enough, you know, when they should have kept a man in the house to bring in more income so they could take care of themselves and the family. You got a lot of these single women out here who are who are who are living check to check or living off government assistance and barely making it, and now it's even harder as things increase in price. So what we're going to see is a lot of these women that were proud, you know, be brought low, you know, and it's going to happen quick. You know, here in Isaiah 32 and 8, it says, but the liberal deviseth liberal things and by liberal things shall he stand. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled. Ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing these women start to lament more and more and more. Okay? It says, they shall lament for the teats and for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people, shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in, in the joy city. And now that we're rolling into this holiday season, more and more news is coming out about the strain on the supply chain and how it's just getting worse. They're talking about how there's going to be a spike in the number of cases of the vid coming out. So it's leading to a stressed out situation. You know? Let me play this clip. Yikes. But today I got paid. My check was a little bit over two thousand um, dollars. I did ten hours overtime because that's what I'm allowed to do. And then I got a twenty-four dollar check from the second job that I just started at the mall. Um. I paid my rent. That was like fifteen hundred dollars. Um, one thousand five fifty three. I paid my car note. That was four oh six. That left me with eighty one dollars. I went and got gas because I was on E. That left me with thirty three dollars. And I went to the grocery store to get a can of soup and some bread and some stuff and so I can eat dinner. See, this is going to be the story for millions of women. Millions of women all across the United States and really uh, the West are going to be having these, these single independent women, you know, single mom life, you know. They were too proud to stay with a man or be able to secure a man and, and, and start a family the traditional way. But because, you know, you see she, she, she wants to wear all the makeup, she wants to have her hair did, and the little tattoos and everything like that. But now the reality of starting a life of independence and the need for actually a, a, a male provider, a provider in the house, Reality is starting to hit, but but you know in today's society, these women feel like they can come and just cry on camera and be a victim and, and, and get relief. Well, we're coming to the times where you're not gonna get no relief. You're not gonna get no relief, man. 
all the, you know, the <laughs> rise up, you women that are at ease, you was at ease, but now the, the strain of everything is starting to hit, you know, Proverbs 1, and, um, man, 22 says, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall ye call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And see, and this is what's going to happen to a lot of these proud women that are out here. When the real stress starts to hit, then you're going to want to seek the face of the Heavenly Father, even through a man in, the, in, in, in his order. But you're not going to find it. And this is what you're going to find. Tears and distress. And I want to get some Cheez Its because I love Cheez Its. <laughs> and they're normally $2.99 a box, but they were like almost $4. Look at that. And I just. It's like a 30, 33% rise. It's like. See the crown on the cheese. $4? Like, who pays for $4 for a box of crackers? You? Yeah, man, so it's going to be real hard for these women out here. You know, as inflation continues to increase, we're going to see more and more strain on these single mother homes and, you know, more and more basically ratchetness that these women are going to have to do in order to keep up, you know? And it's just like the ancient world. They have to do the same thing. You know, women having to sell themselves and and basically try to use whatever sexuality they can just to make ends meet and use their looks. But for a lot of these women who are in their late 40s and they've been running rampant all across the United States and the West for all these times, um, yeah, they're not going to be able to use their looks because they ain't got it. And so, you know, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And so this creates a dependence on the state, you know, and that's how we're going to see the MOTB systems be rolled out and how easily... You're going to see the female population have to basically take it just because they don't have any, you know, providers in the house. And, you know, they are heard looking like this. And that's why the scripture says in Second Ezra, the uh, in the ninth chapter, um, in the eighth verse, it says, you know what? I'm starting at seven. It says everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, who I have sanctified them from for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their lives have received benefits and have not known me, and they have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved whose the world is and from whom the world is created. So we're going to see people that did not follow the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father, have not come underneath the belief of Yahweh Shai and pushed away this doctrine that we've been pushing out. We've been warning, you know, us as younger men for over 10, 15 years now, the apostles and elders for 20, 30 years, how households need to be put back in order and it was going to take destruction and mayhem before people start to really seek out, you know, what the Most High's will is and what he really, really wants. It's going to take, you know, basically asses being beat before a serious uh, uh, kind of concerning happens. And it's going to be too late by then. In Hosea 5 and 15, it says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. And I guarantee you, this is a person that's going to 
celebrate Christmas at its height, celebrate Halloween. It, like, it's all in type of manner of wickedness, you know? Idol worship in the ways of this world, worshiping the image of the beast, and, you know, have received benefits. You know, this person complaining probably gets child support, you know? And all that type of stuff, man. But when everything hits the fan, it's going to be real, real bad out here. You know, it's going to be real bad out here. When you get these women in these rooms and talking about men, probably just down talking all types of, probably down talking her baby daddy, down talking all types of men ain't shit, men ain't this, da 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 da. But now you're in a situation where you really need one. <laughs> Micah 7 and 10, it says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power, thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be down, uh, trodden down as the mire of the streets. Okay? It's going to be a bad case for a lot of these people, a lot, especially women, once hyperinflation really takes a hold in this place. Once they start doing uh, more lockdowns, they start getting in that energy. The need for a fellow, for a man, is going to be extremely apparent. I'm just doing my absolute best to just get by. I work two jobs. I just started a business as a notary. I did this. I looked up on YouTube how to do my own hair. Because I could afford to get it done. And I'm not complaining. I know there are people that are much more, like, less fortunate than me. But it's just like... I go to school full-time. I work full-time. I work another job part-time. Just feeling defeated. Like, when... When am I gonna have more than just like enough? We went to church the other day. We went to church yesterday after my son's track meet, which he got a trophy and they came in second place. And he was so hungry. And I didn't have enough money to stop and get him something to eat. And the lady at church, such a sweet lady, was just like, it's too late. I was like, you know, it's okay, Joe. We'll go home and I'll cook you something. It's too late for him to, for you to cook something. And I was too ashamed to say that. I didn't have enough money at the time to stop and get him something. That I know that my son just ran cross country and that he's hungry, but I can't afford it. And I just feel like, like technically I make too much money. You know, I don't get food stamps. I don't get any type of assistance. I tried to apply for the low income program with my utility company and I make too much money and no Negro, you need a husband. <laughs> Should've stayed with your baby daddy. But you probably chose somebody that didn't you know? Who never who knows? The point of the matter is you needed a household. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for a lot of the this is something that's literally millions and millions of people across the West are going to be maybe even in the billions because ain't nobody getting married and staying together really like that no more through you're going to see more and more and more and more of these situations and it's going to get worse as gas prices continue to increase food prices continue to increase electricity energy prices going up and heating your homes over the winter maybe lockdowns okay there is just going to get more strained out they're going to funnel all of these people that have been splintered off and then living these single mom single life barely making it not even check the check usually people are living off credit cards you know you're going to be funneled into the mot 
B systems. And it's going to be bad out here, man. It's going to be real, real bad out here, man. And so you're going to, you're going to see these women, they're going <laughs> to, you know, like we, we, we read all day where it talks about how seven women shall take hold of one man, you know, in the book of Isaiah, was it Isaiah 4, you know, and it's funny when you go to that chapter, when you go right before it, you go right before it, you skip all the way down in the third chapter of Isaiah, and, um, uh, let's see, verse 16 says, Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretch, stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord shall smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And she just showed you how she was just trying to make it. She's just trying to make it. You know, she's going to put, put a weave in, watch a YouTube. All right. With wonton eyes. You got, got the umbrellas on. All dolled up, but ain't got no money. Okay. All right. It says in the, in, in, in the, these women are spending billions of dollars on hair hats hair weaves and they stink and they're ugly and men don't even like them okay no one likes it but they don't care okay in that day the lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and they're round tired, and they're round tires like them, because you ain't gonna be wanna make no noise like that. You don't know why you're gonna be too busy sneaking, trying to get the last piece of bread. So you ain't gonna be able to walk around ting, cling, ting, cling, cling, cling. When you get outside and you the right person see you, they're coming to get what you got. And see, people think this this is just the movies. Children of men and Book of Eli and I am legend. Like, no, bro, it's coming. Verse 19 says, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers and the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the uh, wimples and the crispy pins, the glasses and fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be a stink. There shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well set of instead of well set hair, baldness, and instead of a stomach or a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty, they, thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she shall be desolate, and she and shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So we're coming to a time where things are going to be ramping up like never before seen. Okay, and all of these things that uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh that's been said by the apostles, the elders, brothers all across the world preaching the, the prophecies of the last days. It's, it's we're here, man, and so you're gonna see this this cry out by this one young lady is one of millions that we're gonna see as more and more and more trauma hit this place, man. Absolutely finished on paper. You know, I make too much money. I make too much money for school. I still have to pay a portion of that. You see, a lot of these women would have been a lot better off if they learned how to be a wife and they were just able to support their man. Instead of wanting to run off from school and do this and do that. And now and now you, you, you heard you got the little boy. You know, and you threw I'm barely really, a lot of this is cap because you just want to get money off people. Surviving, you guys. And I'm tired of the flex. Like, I do make it look pretty. See that? But it's, that's not real life for me right now. The 
That's not really what's happening. There's a lot of that going on, bro. A lot of these people that's on Facebook, Instagram, you know, even if this TikTok platform, which I can't stand. But um, a lot of these people are through. Absolutely finished. And we through. We need out of here. This is a hellhole. Everything's broken. And so, you know, I just wanted to highlight this because I thought it was a very interesting video. Just seeing her just be finished. You know what I mean? And it's just an example of what's yet to come. And it's not even that it gotten that bad. But... I'll finish off with here, Isaiah 4.1, it says, In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. All right? To take away our reproach, man. And so we're going to see that reproach increase <laughs> exponentially as things continue to progress and get more and more damaged out here. So with that, man, call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Dash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Much peace, love, and salutations to you. I came out there pushing away from the city of the truth. Shalom.